Great speech. I'm known for my closing arguments. Just the other day, we were bantering about baseball and dating apps. I wonder how we went from that to this. Jason got himself arrested. Yes, Jason was right. When you dropped my name, it wasn't just a casual remark. You did it on purpose. You're trying to rope me into this mess. No, you were in it. <laughs> like it or not. We have Jason's memories, correct? Oh, here we go. You literally know where the bodies are buried, and if his arrest records are any indication, then there are a lot of them. Look, I'm not saying that he is guilty of every crime that he has been accused of, but even if the numbers are as low as, say, 30%, that is a lot of felonies. And yet no other DA could prove a thing. No one had you. <laughs> you don't have me either. Why should you protect Jason? What has he done for you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Jason and I, we have people in common. If I hurt him, it means I hurt them, and I'm not gonna do that. Very noble. It's not noble, it's practical. Why should I bring a bad feeling into my family, and besides what you're trying to do, it's not gonna work. And what am I trying? You think if you can get Jason, you can squeeze him, and he'll turn on Sonny, but that'll never happen, because Jason, he'd go to jail for the rest of his life, rot in prison, before he gave you anything on Sonny. Well, I won't know until I try. Be my guest, try away. Just don't count on my help. I see you as a man who wants to make this world a better place for his children. Please, do not give me that crap. You see me as an easy mark. I'm a shortcut for career advancement because it is a bright future for any DA who puts away Sonny Caruthos. Think about it. Keeping Sonny on the streets just means more bullets and bloodshed. You're only protecting the bad guys. Well, hey there, new DA. If you want to go after Jason and Sonny, go ahead. Be my guest, but do it the old-fashioned way. You know, interview, investigate, research. If you're as good as you say you are, it should be easy for you to make a case. I need evidence to make a case, and you provide that evidence. Oh, I provide the evidence. Is that why you keep making sure that you're in my way? You set it up ever since, what, the, the park, right? He's trying to use me? Put me in this whole mess? <laughs> What, you really think that my mustard aim is that good? No, I think your game needs work. All the axes on meetings, that sort of mess. You're just trying to get me to roll over on Jason, but you have uh, you got, uh, some big assumptions. Like first, that the science fiction is true, that I have all his memories, and I know about every one of his crimes. Two, that there's actually still evidence out there that you can actually find. Come on. And three, that any of it would hold up in court. I could just hear your arguments. Now, your honor, the witness, has had <laughs> Jason's memories implanted into his head. You'd get laughed out of court. So you see, this is a big waste of my time. It's a big waste of your time, and I don't have any more time to waste. Wait. Alex, is everything okay? No. Well, talk to me. What's going on? Mom, is he bothering you? It's not about Julian. What's going on? Hey, what? Well, What's with all the long faces? Did, did something happen? Our first meetings were chance. That's it. Mm -hmm. I really do like baseball. I also have really enjoyed spending time with you. It wasn't until I got to know you a little better that I thought that you might want to help me. Mm -hmm. No, you thought wrong. So it's true. Not quite. <laughs> okay. Brad? Hey, what's wrong? Mom? Lucas? Brad, I need to speak to you in private. Well, no, I'm, I'm sure whatever it is, you can talk about it in front of the family. I'm so sorry. That was the birth mom's attorney. What's going on? Is there a glitch with the paperwork, or...? The birth mom has decided not to terminate her parental rights. She wants the baby back. <laughs>